Today, I'm gonna show you the absolute fastest way to duplicate weapons on the newest patch. Particularly, I'm gonna show you how to duplicate two weapons at the same time. So first, drop the weapon that you wanna duplicate, fuse it to another weapon that you wanna duplicate. In this case, I have two Zora Longswords plus nine. All right, so you're gonna find a spot like this. You're gonna save it. I'm right, just gonna throw it. Hit the plus button right after. Like that, that's perfect. So what you want, you want Link to grunt, but you don't wanna hear the whoosh of the weapon. If you hear the whoosh of the weapon, it's too late. If Link hasn't grunted, it's too early. The grunt without the whoosh, perfect frames right in between. Now you're gonna see we both have it in our inventory. Hit the box after you load. And we picked it up. So now you can duplicate. You can pick any two weapons you want. That includes shields. That includes items like diamonds that you could fuse them with. That also includes bows. You can equip any fused item on top and duplicate both of them. Take them over to Pelican to separate those for 20 rupees a piece. Now you see we got two on the ground just like that. And we are full. So then you can just break down the other one or keep them. Have your double weapons. Be a fancy pants. Just break them both down and that's it. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you live over on YouTube. Okay? Today I'm going to show you how to do the fastest item duplication glitch. This doesn't require opening any in-game areas. This doesn't require multi-shot bows. All it requires is any weapon and whatever item you want to duplicate. So what you're going to do... You can see right now I have a Zora Longsword, attack up plus nine. The weapon doesn't matter as long as you can fuse with it. We're going to take the good old diamond because everybody loves duplicating diamonds, right? Hold that. Drop it. Fuse it. All right. So now you can see it's on our longsword. We have a diamond blade. So it's a diamond plus a Zora Longsword. Now, what you're gonna run into, we're in Terrytown right now, or we're in we're in Tari Town right now, Terry Town, however you want to say it, next to Pelican, because he'll break it down for us. So we're just gonna line up. I like to line up with this box, but you can line up anywhere. Line up, save it. Now you're gonna throw your weapon, and you have to press the plus button to go into your weapons menu just before you hear the weapon sound. So it's really fast. That's probably perfect right there. Now you're gonna load it since you just saved it. You want to hear the grunt start, but not the weapon whip. If you hear the weapon whoosh, that means it's too late. If you don't hear the grunt, you're probably too early. But because we heard the grunt without the whoosh, that means we probably got it right in the right amount of frames on that load. Yeah, just like that, you can see it worked. We now have two diamond blades. We're going to go talk to Pelican. And then for 20 rupees each, he's going to break apart the diamond from the actual weapon. Whatever's fused to it, and he does that without destroying it. Typically, if you unfuse an item yourself, it just destroys whatever item is fused. But now you can see, we have the Zora Longsword plus nine, and we have the diamond. So you can see now we're back to here, and we still have one more to do. So for 20 more, we'll break down the other one. So for a total of 40 rupees, we turned one diamond into two diamonds. A diamond is worth 500 rupees. So that's a gain of 460 rupees for doing this once. Not to mention you are also duplicating whatever weapon. So that could be an in-game crazy weapon if you wanted it to be. You know? So you could duplicate a weapon like this. The Molduga Hammer at 128 damage. Plus you put on the bone armor. It's twice that. It's crazy. But now you can see we have that. And then we also gained one more diamond. We're now at 194 diamonds. Hey, like and subscribe if this video helped you. And I will see you live over on YouTube. That was easier. All right, today I'm going to show you how to duplicate shields in the fastest way possible. And these shields also include duplicating a weapon at the same time. So you're duplicating both a weapon and a shield. So check this out. Go to your weapons. Have any weapon you want to duplicate that can be fused with. In this case, we have a Zora Longsword Attack Up Plus 9. We're going to duplicate. Uh, let's duplicate a Hylian Shield. Why not? Fuse it to that weapon. You can do this without fusing two. It just I'd rather duplicate two things at once. Now you're gonna come over this box and be anywhere over here in Tari Town. Line it up. Make sure you're completely still. Hit save. Now you're gonna throw it, and then just hit the pause button as soon as you throw it, like that. That's exactly what you want. We threw the weapon, but you didn't hear the whoosh of the weapon actually being thrown. So you heard the grunt of Link, but not the whoosh. That means you got it in the perfect frames to duplicate it. All right, now you're going to see that I still have the weapon on me. I just picked it up. Now I have two Hylian Shield Longswords, as you can see. 
Take these to our boy Pellison and break them down for 20 rupees a piece. Just like that. Yoink, yoink, there's one. Do the same thing. All right, now you can see we got both long swords back. Boom, got both our long swords back. Perfect durability. And we now have an extra Hylian shield. So now we have four different ones. So that's it. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. And I will see you live over on YouTube. Bye. So let's take our Royal Guards bow. Drop that bad boy. Now we're going to fuse that. Boink. Got it fused, right? All right, so now you awkwardly have a Royal Guards bow on that bad boy. So now we're going to hold still. We're going to save it. Make sure he's holding still. There we go. It's right, right here. Yes, that one did not work that time. That one, that one felt good. I heard the grunt, but not the whip. That's what you look, not the weapon. Whew. There we go. See, so the timing takes a little practice, but now, as you can see, saying we can't carry any more weapons, which is true. Get rid of this lame old spear. That bad boy up. Guards longbow. So now you can see we have a two Zora longswords attack at plus nine and a royal guards bow added onto it, right? All right. So now come back to Mr. Pellison. And now you can break it down. It's going to give you both the duplicated weapon and the duplicated weapon or shield that was attached to it, right? So we have that right there, right? So now for 20 rupees, you can break that apart. And boom, there you go. Now you have a duplicated weapon and a duplicated longbow. So see, we got our guard's bow back. And we still have our guard's bow on this one too, right? So let's say, let's just drop this one. Let's get rid of this one. Just to show you guys. Now we can duplicate this one as well. Break it down. Same thing. There you go. And boom. So now you have two of the original weapon that you're trying to duplicate.